Ba -ba Do you guys ever feel like a video game was made specially just for you? As just you, the single player by itself. That's the vibe that I'm getting with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice because it is a Dark Souls Bloodborne type game. The new fancy word for this franchise in the genre is Soulsborne type game featuring ninjas and as you guys know my name is nick you guys can also as always call me tetra ninja and yeah i feel like it's a game just it's made for me <laughs> so hopefully guys are going to enjoy this full let's play walkthrough of the entire game go through the wins the heart crushing losses watching me die a bunch of times and that's basically part and parcel of this entire genre and as always if you're gonna enjoy thumbs up is always appreciated feel free to subscribe if you are new as well and before we start we just got to give a quick thank you out to Activision for providing an early review copy of this game to create this content and posting a little bit earlier for you guys so yeah let's jump right into it we're gonna do standard everything HUD I think that's fine so a big thing right now on YouTube with its new policy is music. I am going to post this part one and if we have no issues with copyright, we will keep music in just cause. Uh, who doesn't want to watch a game without music? But if we start running into copyright stuff, then we will adjust along the way. So yeah, let's jump right into it. In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. Bang. Is the war finally over? What a shot. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Some twenty years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan, 
was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. Miru. Get ready for all the Naruto references that I can muster, ladies and gentlemen, because that's all I got. Oh my god. From what I can tell, we have like an artificial prosthetic arm. Oh wait. Not yet. Okay. Well, spoiler alert, something's gonna happen to our arm. Because... <laughs> It just happens. Okay. Jump. Let's go backwards before we go forwards. That's always my philosophy while playing video games because you will never know exactly what you will find otherwise. Can't climb anywhere as of right now. Looks like. Yeah, one of our arms is completely dead. It's not even it's not even moving. Just cut it off, man. Just cut it off. Ashina Reservoir. So, if you're familiar with Soulsborne type games, there is very little hand-holding. No such thing as like a directional arrow or anything like that. You figure it out on your own. Which, in the age where video games are a little bit too easy in my opinion, I do appreciate. Keeps you invested and in the world. What was that? I was doing like a charge up thing. Peek. Stealth. That is what- That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. Stealth is where I'm a viking. Also have like very little health left. I'm like hanging on. Huh. Check that it's locked, right? Mm, it's certainly locked, but <laughs> nobody fixed that hole in the wall. That? Don't worry about it. The hole faces the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. Nice. I'm in. Oh. No stamina bar. About to do my Metal Gear chin-ups to level up that grip meter right now. <laughs> imagine I imagine I... Oh, wait, wait. Is there anything down there? I was about to say, imagine I, like, died right here. 
That would be embarrassing. Let's see around. I need a, I need a katana. Don't scream. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. Oh, baby, give it to me. That's a, My shinobi. A sweet name for a sword. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. The voice actor for Wolf sounds very familiar. I can't put my finger on it at the moment, but we'll figure it out. As you heard there, we got some achievements. <laughs> Kasubi Maru. Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Healing Gourd. Where's my healing gourd? Homeward idol. Oh, it's like a homeward bone. Okay, let's have a look see around here. Oh, hello. Got some pellets. This is a very ornate box. Kind of want to bust it open to see what's in the inside, but I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. Inventory. Quick items. Yeah, I have like this wind charge up. What the heck is this going on right now? Futon! RB. Backstab first. 
backstab first. What's up, dudes? Oh dear. Freaking fell down. Woo! Straight to the jugular. I was trying to. I was thinking about getting a little bit fancy there and going for a parry, but I'll wait for the game to confirm exactly how you do it. I'm just hoping that... Oh, there we go, it's called the deflect system. I'm just hoping that this game is a little bit more diversified than Nero, Nero was. Oh, I just died. Wow. Death. Boo! Okay, let's try this again. Dang. This guy... Rack! Getting the feel for it a bit. There is also a guy here. Oh. <laughs> Pretty fancy. Try to do it like an air attack. Let me try it on these guys. If I can get to the top of this thing. Ready? Ready? What's up? Baby. Oh, come on. Fail. He got licking. Alright. Boss time. Oh, come on. Really? Right. Trying to get a feel for what his attacks are like. Now he's high guarding it. So I'm assuming that bottom bar is like a posture bar. Yeah, so once that gets full, your posture breaks. Yeah. The trick is just to get that bar full. Attack again, dude. Attack again. I didn't grab- oh my god. I didn't grab the pellets from the last time. Should I go back and get them? Yeah, let's go back and get them. No sprint button. Got like a little bit of a swipe there. 
Don't attack the prince. Oh no, I did grab them. Weird. We murdered everyone. Bodies flopping everywhere. <laughs> Let's go through this door. Fist full of ash. Do we want to go through the secret way or do we want to go through the front door? I vote secret way. Actually, maybe we should at least open the door first. Maybe you can't get through it. <laughs> There you go. Took the choice right out of my hands. Oh. What the hell is that thing? You know that secret passage at the bottom of the moat? Under the bridge? We just got orders to guard it. Mmm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Dude, what is that thing? Oh, it's a person. I think. Like some sort. Ew! What the hell? Easy there, Krang. That thing was gross. Oh, I almost fucking. Whew. Further down. Jump in the water? It's like some sort of animals down there. That is a gigantic lizard. One thing that I've noticed is that there's no currency system in the game, like souls or anything like that. So that hasn't been really any sort of incentive to try to kill everything. Kind of just doing it for the lols at this point. Oh. It's all back to the same spot. That's lame. Nothing? Okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> Easy there, young prince. Don't break an ankle now. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way, to run from the fated bloodline, is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. 
Whatever I desire, that's the wolf I know. My lord. <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. Keep pushing through. How do I level up in this game? How do I get stronger? Oh, pretty. Oh, dear. That looks like a boss. The Divine Heir. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. What is this guy, a samurai? Is there such thing as a loyal shinobi? Okay, New dude. Face, Genichiro Ashina. Oh, I must be an unblockable attack. I have a feeling that this guy looks like way above our pay grade. We're not gonna win this fight. Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, we're not supposed to win it. There it goes. At least he didn't take my sword hand. I wonder if we could actually beat this guy. Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. Ah, so that's where that idol came from. This guy's carving a family. Getting his Pinocchio on. Death is not your fate, just yet. Who the hell? What do you call yourself? Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Let's get that lore. Why am I here? All I did 
was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. Finally, figured out the voice actor. It's probably Liam O'Brien, the voice of war from the Darksiders franchise. It has that, that tone to it, a little bit of pitch. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the Shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic. It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. <laughs> I said too much. Go now. Not done yet. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. You're quite the strange one, yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. Still don't know what this does. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. What is this? Swords out, boys. More pellets. We've got a nice little stash going on over here. This hut seems to be a safe zone of some sort. Ah. I needed the purse. Get my man purse on. Let us press on. We got an enemy. Enemy? Friend. Friend or enemy? Mm. Never seen you before. Your name? <sighs> Won't tell me. But you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps... Hmm. Sir, please heed my humble request. Face me in battle. Oh, come on, dude, really? <laughs> Damn. Still alive. 
the hell, dude? What's wrong with you? That swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a run-down temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. Well? This guy's such a sickle. Very well. Right then. Let's go. They say, swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. Nah, I'm good. Come back whenever you like. If you have techniques to try out, I'm at your disposal. I don't have any money. Guy's a sadist, man. Grappling hook right away? Jeez. This is Zelda. I'd have to go through an entire dungeon first. Whew. So smooth. So smooth. I've seen the map of this world before. Came in the collector's edition that I unboxed. Feel extremely unsafe. Oh no. That's not what I wanted to do quite yet. Let's go back up top. Aha. So we activated it now. We can fast travel to it. Duck down. Gotta do that stealth thing, though. Already ahead of you, man. Way ahead of you, game. That, what that does, I have to go over top of the body and press square to get that loot. That sweet ass loot. Oh, well. There goes that plan. Come on, you're almost dead, dude. OG Batman. Use the jump attack to break my fall, though. Oh, come on, really? 
really, dude? Can I kick you Spartan kick style? <laughs> Ceramic shard. Oh. See it, dude. Oh, wow. Burpee! Oh, one swipe. Where the hell did you come from? Let me try one of these pellets. Temporary buff on the health. Oh, come on. Doggy. <laughs> okay, dog, there you go. Putting up a fight. Well, this is pretty beefy, isn't it? There's an idol! Activate! Commune! Let's not rest. Let me move a shard. It's like a throwing shard. That's pretty good. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a good st place to stop right here for our first episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I, I'm starting to feel more comfortable as the game progresses with the controls. Um, it's a definitely, it definitely is a different feeling game than any Soulsborne game that I've played thus far. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, you don't want too much more of the same. Kind of mix it up in terms of how the gameplay mechanics work. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the series. It's probably most likely based on my experience. going to be a long one. So stick around for the entire thing. And if you enjoyed as always, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. Ring that bell. All the good stuff. And we will check you guys out in the next episode. All right. As always, have a fantastic day.